Yeso, yeso, yeso. <laughs> you too. What's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy B, and we back in the mall with another reaction video, man. As you guys see by the title, man, today we're reacting to rap rappers. Damn, I couldn't even get the word out, boy. A lot of all is going on. Rappers in prison, fights. K Flock, Queso, and Casanova. Yeah, and I and, and look, man, the prison fights is it. Nigga, ain't no rules. Nigga, niggas getting stabbed, all type of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas catching you lacking, you getting jumped. It gets crazy in prison. But anyways, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the notifications on, man. Turn them on. Let's hop straight into this video. And also, man, shout out to uh on Hip Hop Daily for posting this video, man. If y'all want to see the um, full video or check out his other videos, man, I'll be I be sure to um to link this video or his channel down below so y'all can check it out. All his other videos out as well. Let's go ahead and get to this reaction though. You be me. Famous rapper ain't always a party. Let's get it. When you plan to be about that life in your music, sometimes you gotta prove it. Today, we're looking at six rappers who not only got locked up, but also caught yeah, fans. I remember we seen the bars. clip of him getting slammed. Let's get right to it. K Flock. K Flock is one of the artists leading the Bronx drill wave before he got locked up at the end of last year. The 18 year old rapper was arrested in December after he allegedly killed a 24 year old named Oscar Hernandez. He's currently being held at Rikers Island on a murder charge, and it looks like he. Hold on, dog. K Flock. K Flock is one of the artists leading the Bronx drill wave before he got locked up at the end of last year. The 18 year old rapper was arrested in December after he allegedly killed a 24 year old named Oscar Damn, I didn't know he was 18. Bro, I did not know K Flock was 18, bro. I did not know that. That's crazy. Hernandez. He's currently being held at Rikers Island on a murder charge, and it looks like he might have ran into even more trouble inside. A couple of months after he got locked up, rumors started going around that K Flock got jumped by some dudes and got beat so bad that he got sent to the ICU. Prison records show that he was in Rikers Island West facility, which is allegedly a hospital unit. K Flock denies that he was attacked and says that bloggers are being paid off to make him look bad. As of right now, there ain't much evidence to prove what happened. So nobody knows who's telling the truth. K Flock's whole case has wow. been full of conflicting information. When the story first broke, the police accused the rapper of walking into a barber shop and asking the victim, "What you looking at?" Hernandez then followed Flock outside, where he ended up getting shot. But but surveillance footage from the scene tells a different story. In the video, Flock's walking down the street with two girls, and they pass the barber shop. Then a few seconds later, a man, assuming to be Hernandez, leaves the shop and heads in the same direction as Flock. Right after that. More people step out of the barbershop and look like they're reacting to gunshots going off down the street. This video proves the police was wrong. Plus, the DA was tipped off that someone else was the shooter. Hold on, so what's the whole situation with that? Like him and the other guy had like some type of beef, the other guy followed him out the, the barbershop, so they must have seen one another. And I don't know, like... But even if Flock killed the dude, the cops obviously don't know the full story. They said that the murder was gang related, but it still ain't clear exactly what happened. K Flock's career was just starting to take off. How you follow somebody? How you how you follow another nigga and then you end up down? Like that don't even make sense. After he got out of Juvie in March 2020, his homie B Love convinced him to hop in the booth. He dropped his first track in May 2020. Lil TJ heard the song and shared it, which helped kickstart Flock's buzz in the city. A few months later, he dropped Op Spotter with B Love, which gained over 3 million views. Yeah, By July 2021, he'd already signed Capitol Records and was known as one of the hottest up and coming drill rappers out of the Bronx. He released his debut project in November 2021, but then one month later was arrested for murder. Hopefully, the rumors about him getting jumped and sent to the ICU were wrong. But until it's more proof, no one can say what went down for show. Flock got a bright future ahead of him if he can beat this case and stay out of trouble. But there's a chance his career will end before it can really take off. K So. Sure. K So is a rapper from Jacksonville, Florida, who's affiliated with Young and Ace. K So yep. is currently facing two murder charges in Florida. He allegedly killed a rival rapper named Lil Buck in 2020. Plus, he's also accused of murdering 16 year old Lil Bibby in 2019. His time behind bars ain't been easy. Last year, a video service that showed K So being slammed to the. Is that the. Is, is, is that the. Is that the Bibby on. Um, on um, Fuller Rule? Is that the Bibby Fuller Rule be talking about in his songs? ground by CO. He posted a video on Instagram with the caption see the last year again. It was a murdering 16 year old dog. 16 year old, Lil Bibby in 2019. His time behind bars ain't been easy. 
Last year, a video service that showcased Soul being slammed to the ground by CO. He posted a video on Instagram with the caption, Modern Slavery. Even though my innocence is being proven, I'm still being targeted and abused every day while I'm in here. These officers still have not been suspended or no consequences. I'm fighting for my life mentally and physically. No matter what they do to me, can't keep an innocent man down. Hashtag free me. Queso's grandmother even filed a complaint with the prison, but officials responded by saying, no evidence was discovered to substantiate misconduct on the part of the member. According to YNR Slugger T, another rapper from Jacksonville, this isn't the only altercation Queso's been involved in on the inside. Slugger T is affiliated with Fulio, who has a history of beef with Young and Ace and arrested ATK, including Queso. Slugger T was arrested alongside his homie YNR Mookie and is still in jail waiting for a trial date. In a video posted on social media, Slugger T claims he beat Queso's ass and now he's afraid of him. Man, f that nigga, man. That nigga and this bitch getting took up and through that, man. I done beat that nigga ass already, man. That nigga got scared, man. Sick. They record on the goddamn lip phone. But besides what Slugger says, there's no evidence that it actually went down. He earned a reputation for fighting and being a shooter in Jacksonville, though, so it could be true. But Slugger's time in jail ain't been great either. Last year, a rumor surfaced that he got stabbed and was in critical condition. It started after his mother allegedly posted about it on social media, but then deleted it. The rumor ain't been confirmed or denied, but why not? Oh, what? Last year, a rumor surfaced that he got stabbed and was in critical Tough. condition. It started after his mother allegedly posted about it on social media, but then deleted it. The rumor ain't been confirmed or denied, but YNR have a lot of enemies in Jacksonville, so it's definitely a possibility. Casanova. Casanova's a rapper from Brooklyn, best known for the song Set Trippin'. Most people know about Casanova from his affiliation with ASAP Rocky and beef with Takashi 6 9 He's currently facing trial for attempted murder and racketeering after getting wrapped up in a major RICO indictment. But he's already had a reputation for being a violent inmate after spending seven and a half years on Rikers Island before becoming a rapper. In a 2017 interview with Vlad TV, Casanova described how he got sent to solitary confinement for almost three years after he was caught boofing drugs and razor blades. On oh. Rikers Island, people in solitary get bunk mates. But Casanova said that eventually they stopped putting people in his room because he would just beat them up. Everyone knows that Rikers ain't the kind of place you want to be in. But Casanova makes it sound like something out of. That nigga said they started putting people in his rooms and he just started beating them up. I just, imagine getting put in and he just whooping your ass for no reason. Bunk mates. But Casanova said that eventually they stopped putting people in his room because he would just beat them up. Everyone knows that Rikers ain't the kind of place you want to be in. But Casanova makes it sound like something out of a movie. According to him, he stabbed up to 12 different dudes in there, but things were so crazy that he can't even give an accurate number. Vlad asked him if it was like Gladiator School, and Casanova told him that the violence on Rikers Island was all he knew, so it seemed normal to him. So you were basically in Gladiator School in prison? Yeah, everybody called it Gladiator School. I guess where it get wild at, they call it Gladiator School. He's been in custody since 2020 after he was charged with multiple crimes of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang. According to police, the gang is responsible for racketeering, murder, trafficking, and more. 18 Guerrilla Stone Nation members were taken down in a massive operation Damn. that involved the NYPD and FBI. Casanova revealed that he had been kept in solitary confinement for over a month. He didn't say why they put him in the box, but it's not surprising when you look at his history of fighting and stabbing dudes behind bars. The untouchable Guerrilla Stone Nation case is bad enough, but the attempted murder charge is worse. According to the indictment, he allegedly shot a rival gang member at a Miami strip club. Casanova was at the club with a dude named Jared Chrysler Jr. when Cass threw up a sign. Someone told him, yo homie, wrong sign. So Cass asked him, you wanna die tonight? That's when Casanova and Chrysler both allegedly shot the dude and someone else. Police say that they found text messages in Chrysler's phone bragging about the shooting, and now Cass is facing life. Wow, Police say, Oh, that's tough. Killed a nigga that night, shake my head. Some neighborhood crib nigga, we outside in the strip club and cats taking pics of niggas and the crowd nigga gonna grab a cat's hand talking about your homie wrong son. Cats asked me wanna to die tonight. He reached on his hip and just booked, booked him. Everyone got missing. I don't know what that stand for. Skirt it off and I let another one go. Hit you in the stomach. That nigga said, ha this nigga said, hashtag good aim. I'm fucking weak. Now they found text messages in Chrysler's phone bragging about the shooting. And now Cass is facing life in prison if he's found guilty. He faces some serious charges, but hopefully Damn. Cass can beat his cases and get back to making music. One thing's for sure though, 
He ain't the kind of dude you want to mess with if you run into him in prison. Kodak Black. Kodak Black has had a rough few years, including getting into it with a guard the last time he was locked up. In 2019, Kodak was sentenced to almost four years in prison for lying about his criminal record when he was trying to buy a gun. But just because he was a celebrity, ain't mean he had it easy. According to a post on his Instagram account, Kodak was laced with an unknown substance and ended up getting into a fight with another inmate. Sources told TMZ that it took several guards to hold Kodak Black, and he allegedly squeezed the CO's testicles so hard that he had to go to the hospital for treatment. Ew. Nigga, what? Nah, you think Kodak out here squeezing nigga nuts ass and shit in fights, man. What's going on, coach? <laughs> yeah, dawg, nah, what the fuck, dawg? Nah, that right there just threw me all guard, man. What the hell, on, man? What the hell did this nigga just say to me, man? Liberty ain't mean he had it easy. According to a post on his Instagram account, Kodak was laced with an unknown substance and ended up getting into a fight with another inmate. Sources told TMZ that it took several guards to hold Kodak Black. Let me read this. Let me read this real up quick. On um, February... Oh, damn. What the fuck am I reading, nigga? Nigga just putting words together. On October the 29th, I was laced with an unknown substance here in Miami, FDC. That substance gave me an out of body experience and had me feeling like I was possessed and dying slowly. Upon this experience, I managed to go to a CO's office to seek medical attention as shown on surveillance cameras. I was denied. This left me in a state of paranoia. Get into a fight with another inmate. Sources told TMZ that it took several guards to hold Kodak Black, and he allegedly squeezed the CO's testicles so hard that he had to go to the hospital for treatment. People close to Kodak believe that his coffee was spiked with some kind of drug, which is what made him tweak out and gave him the strength to fight off multiple guards. Then in 2020, Kodak was allegedly attacked by seven guards while he was cuffed. Supposedly, some dudes who was inside with him reached out to his reps to let him know what was going on. According to sources inside the prison, they struck him in the head repeatedly with a metal object. Then one of the guards flicked his genitals and said, you're not so gangster now, you're gonna need bigger balls to survive. Luckily, Kodak Damn. received a presidential pardon in 2021 and got out of prison before something worse happened. But it's time outside oh, even presidential what? pardon. Yo, I forgot about this, bro. So Donald Trump did help this nigga get out, bro. That nigga was in there getting beat up by the guards. Pardon in 2021 and got out of prison before something worse happened. But his time outside ain't been great either. In February 2022, he got shot in the leg outside an after party hosted by Justin Bieber. Yeah. The details of the case are still unclear, but at least his wounds wasn't life threatening, and it looks like he'll make a full recovery. 6 9. Takashi 6 9 yes, is the most notorious snitch in the game, but his fake gangster act almost got him jumped in jail. In November 2018, the rapper was hit with Rico charges for being affiliated with the Nine Trade Bloods and spent over a year in jail fighting the case. It only took a few days before he had to be transferred for his own protection. He was booked at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. His, he was doing crazy numbers. I gotta be honest, nigga. That, that, that nigga was doing crazy numbers. But he's a goofy with it, though. But that nigga was doing numbers. We got, we got to keep 100 around here. So. And got pressed by some Crips immediately. TMZ reported that the Crips was waiting for him in the intake area when he arrived. Sources inside the detention center said that one of the Crips told 6ix9ine that he better understand who's in charge. He almost got jumped on the spot, but there was a bunch of guards in the area to protect him. Afterwards, he allegedly asked if he moved somewhere far away from any Crips or Bloods. His lawyer said that Takashi was being threatened in jail. However, he wasn't scared, nor did he request being removed. The Bureau of Prisons, acting upon these threats, removed him to a different facility to eliminate the threat. They moved him to a facility that's used for inmates who agree to cooperate with authorities, which 6 9 eventually did. So it's likely that he did ask to be moved away from any Crips or Bloods to protect himself. He knew that once he snitched, he'd be even more of a target. So he did whatever he could to save himself. He was originally facing a mandatory 47 years in prison, but later got it reduced to just two years with 13 months time served. Then he got released in March 2020 because he was considered at risk for COVID-19 since he had asthma. It was good for him because chances are he wouldn't have survived serving a full sentence. Not many people have made as many enemies as 6ix9ine. Dude. Dude, this nigga still make music or like is it is this music career is over? Like you would think his music career would be over with out there, like telling and shit. Like you're not even living what you rapping like you know what I'm saying? Like 
and it was only a matter of time oh, no. before someone called him lacking. Straight drop. Young Dolph was shot and killed last year while visiting his favorite bakery tough, in his hometown man. of Memphis. It's One tough. of the dudes accused of the murder is a rapper named Straight Drop. Before the murder of Young Dolph, Straight Drop had a long criminal history. He was convicted of shooting three people at a bowling alley in 2017, and now he's facing a murder charge for killing one of Memphis' hottest rappers. Rumors recently surfaced that he got attacked in jail after Dolph fans spotted lumps on his face at a hearing. A source close to the case claims that the lump wasn't from a beating, just swelling caused some stress and crying. According to the source, Straight Drop is having a hard time in jail and ain't taking the situation well at all. Apparently, Straight Drop is being kept in a separate area of the jail that's reserved for high-profile inmates. If that's the case, then it's unlikely he caught a beating. But that info ain't been confirmed. Young Dolph had a lot of love in Memphis, so it wouldn't be surprising if someone got payback on Straight Drop. But these are just rumors for now, and it's unclear if anything actually happened. Straight Drop ain't Oof, been officially yeah, convicted of the murder for Young Dolph, but if he found guilty, he may have to go on the PC. If not, he might not last long in any Tennessee prison. Three hygiene myths. That's crazy. There you guys go, man. What was that mother called? Oh, rappers in prison fights. If you guys enjoyed the video, all that good stuff, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. I definitely learned some new stuff. Um, for sure. And if y'all want to see more of these videos, let me know, man. Oh, uh, I don't even know what the fuck I'm we looking. What the, like, what is that right there? I don't even know what that is. Let's hold on now. Let's Being a famous rapper ain't always a part. Let's leave it on this or something. But anyways, man, you guys enjoyed the video. Y'all make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already as well. You know what I'm saying? Hit that sub button if you're new, turn the notice on, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, like I was saying, if y'all want me to react to more videos from Hip Hop um, um, Daily or Lately, what's the channel name? Hip Hop Daily or Lately, what is it? Hip Hop Daily, let me know. I got y'all. He be posting mad videos like every day. So we can mix this up with the music. You know what I'm saying? Still dealing with hip hop and rap and all that stuff um but yeah i catch y'all next video straight business you